Hello Jumit, welcome to my channel at Easy Service where I make survey practices easier and educative. Here in this video, I want to quickly introduce everyone on how to use the DeepSeek AI app to do your mapping in QGIS. So to get started, you launch into your QGIS software. So this is a recent QGIS software released this year. You can actually download freely by watching the video under the description. We are going to see a video link. You will get how to download and install freely. So when you open your QGIS work environment, you come to project, you click on new to have a new project template. All right. So the first thing to do on your QGIS is to go ahead to download the required plugin for the Python code that will be generated from the deep seek ai app all right by coming to plugins scroll down to manage and install plugins you click on that so you make sure your system is connected to an active internet all right so that you can search for this right plugin and install successfully so you come to all you come to the search box then you search for json json then you scroll down to json eater all right so this has been installed already that is why there's a tick behind it all right so if you check the tags here it is for python it is for joe jackson so this plugin is the python code that will be generated by other sources such as the deep seek ai to be readable by the qgis software so you click on the uh plugin then you are going to see the install icon here if you are yet to install it then you click on install then when you do that it is going to install successfully then you close this window that's the first thing to do on qgis then you minimize then you come to your DeepSeek ai app you launch into that please if you are just joining me for the first time on this channel you can check under the comment section to see the video on how to download sign up and install the DeepSeek AI freely as a user. So it is going to launch in the chat room for you. All right. So as a first timer on DeepSeek, I'm going to be using the DeepSeek AI to map major airports in the United States in the course of this video. And as well, I'm going to use it to map out places that are important in the US. All right. So just follow me carefully. So on your message deep seek box to type this particular question all right so i would like to see coordinates of major airports in the us could you please provide a geo jackson python code that i can run in my python console to see the results in qgis all right so i want the deep seek ai to generate a python code that can run in my python console that will aid my mapping in qgis Right, so this is how you are going to impute the keywords you can actually use anywhere around the world anywhere around the world you can use nigeria you can use ghana or any study area of your choice all right so you click on this deep tick r1 so that the ai can resolve your problems quickly and more critical all right then you click on this blue tick icon here so you give it a little bit time it is going to generate a JOSIM Python code for you. Therefore, you are going to see the information below. Okay. You are going to after it runs the code you are going to see the inst instructions below however in the course of this video i am going to show you practically so you can, can see it has successfully run the code so you don't need a very deep background of coding if you want to use this ai it's very free and it is easy to use all right it is user friendly so all you have to do is to copy the python code you minimize then you come to your qgis work environment you come to plugins you scroll down to python console you click on that then here you click on show editor so when you click on that you will see these options you come here you click on this space you right click then you paste the copied 
Python script that is generated by the DeepSeek AI. All right, then you click on run scripts you click on that so here you are going to see that geojson file has been created for this particular function okay i want to see major airports in the us so all you have to do next is to come to layer click on that you scroll down to add layer then you navigate to add vector layer you click on that then you scroll down to this three dotted point which is browse you click on that then you can scroll down to where the file is being saved so in case you don't know the folder where the uh, geojson file is being created you can come to your search box on your system then you can click on you can just check on the particular uh, file name of the geojson file so the file name is us okay you can see it here us airport.geojson so i'm just going to search for that us airport right so this is it here so the file is us airport then you will just click on open file location so you are going to see the particular folder where the geojson file is saved in your pc so it is under this pc under the documents all right and you can see it here so what you have to do is to navigate to that particular folder so it is under this PC here, then under documents. All right, then you can now scroll down, then you will see it's usreport.jjson. So that's the file that you click on open. So when you see these options, you click on add and you click on close. So these are the important or major airports in the United States. So that is not all. I want to see important places in the United States. So this is major airports okay in the united states however i want to see important places in the united states so you minimize you come back to the previous code so instead of repeating the question you come to edit messages and this time around you will edit it to coordinate of important places in the u.s all right so i want to see the coordinates of important places in the u.s could you please provide a geojson python code that i can run in my python console to see the result in qgis then you click on send so as a first time man in the u.s I would love to see the nearest international airport I'm going to land in, as well as some landmarks that are very, very crucial in the United States. So this particular mapping is so basically useful in all form of uh, mapping. So it is done. All I have to do is to copy. When you copy, you minimize, come to your QGIS. This time around, you close the previous Python code. Then you clear this. Then you come back here you right click then you paste so when you paste you click on run scripts so the important places file has been created just like how we imported that of the uh, major airports you come to the layer come to add layer come to add vector layer come to the three dotted points then this time around you are going to see the file for important places you click on that then you click on open then you click on add and close so you can see the purple uh, shape files are the places why the orange is the airports all right so that's not all i want to incorporate a base map to aid my visualization so i will still need the ai to generate a particular uh, python code that i can run in my qgis for that by coming to the chat uh, space then you input this particular question this way in the script
so this is the question in the script this is the previous python code script could you include a base map for contests all right so that is the uh, question so i want to add a python code base map in the previous script so you click on send Therefore, it has successfully regenerated the Python code for this map. All right. So all you have to take note is this is the first set of code. So this is not recommendable to go with for the second set of code, as you can see here. So this program automatically add this map using the GGIS. So this is the recommended uh, code. You are to go with so if you scroll down scroll to the very down you are going to see that the last command is that the geodexia file loaded and bismarck added successfully so all you have to do is to click on copy on this particular python code script you minimize come to your gis you erase the previous command for the places you erase this you come back here you right click then you paste so when you paste, you click on run scripts. So automatically you are going to see the base map showing on your screen. All right, so that is the base map of the United States. So you can see that some of the points is not overlaid. It's because the base map, which is the open street map is above the shape five points, the location. So all you have to do is to drag it down. All right, so when you drag it down, you are going to see the locations of the important places as well as the airports the major airports within the study area so you can now close this window all right so you can now do some other editing by changing the symbology of these uh, locations so for major airports you click on the u.s airports under the layer you right click then you come to properties you click on that so you are going to change the uh, icon of the airport to something much more professional so you are going to edit this to see other options so when you scroll down all right i'll go with this airplane all right so this particular icon is okay by me then reduce the size to five i don't want it to be that big then you click on apply and okay so you are going to see it those are the uh international airports within the united states okay then the next thing is the places so i can just choose to go with one of these so let me remove one all right so the important places you click on it you right click come to properties so i'm just going to edit that i don't need the favorite so that i can see other options so i would like to go with this okay then i'm going to reduce the size to four okay the major aim of this uh, map this digital map is to show the international airports within the uh, study area which is the united states so these are different places with the red icon then you can choose to show label okay by right clicking and clicking on show labels this is for the important places so you can see you can see the names are actually popping up already the statue of liberty is in new york all right this is in new york the statue of liberty and you can see the airport so the nearest airport to new york i'm just going to show you right click then show labels is the john f kennedy all right so that is the nearest airport to new york john f kennedy international airport all right so you can choose in case you can't see the uh uh the show labels is not showing okay you come to layers okay then you scroll down to labeling you click on labeling then under labeling you change it if yours is on no labels you can see you change it to single labels so when you change it to single labels it is going to pop up then you can now close the window all right so you can choose to use other region of any part of the world guys that is how to run uh the python code using DeepSeek ai to generate map in qgis if you find this video helpful and informative please do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on the notification on this channel to keep getting valuable up-to-date tutorial freely I will, I will be looking forward to hear from you under the comment section do well to drop your opinion 
on the DeepSeek AI mapping if you find it lucrative in the geospatial world. Thank you. See you in the next video.